Yo, what's going on, 67 Letters Squad? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1, and it's Try Hard Thursday, so we're going to be doing a bunch of uh, ranked 1v1s. I'm going to start off with Hell. The reason I'm starting off with Hell, in case you're wondering, is just because um, PBM has inspired me. PBM has been playing a lot of Hell. He seems to love it. I don't know how it's going to do against a Kronos, because I'll be honest, I've played this matchup. Uh... I've played this matchup with Sorry. Hell started yapping and my ears just started closing. <laughs> but I've played this matchup against PBM a lot of times. Maybe uh I don't know, in the past month, maybe five times we've played this matchup. And Kronos just he just wins it. I mean, it's <clears throat> it's not to say like my Kronos is better than PBM's Hell. I think just in general, Kronos is better than Hell because Kronos has that those consistent auto attack damaging um his consistent auto attack damage and the stun. Whereas Hell doesn't actually have any CC. She has a slow, I guess if you want to count that. Which you probably do. Oh no. Oh, I got it. And let's go. This feels very loud. For me, I just had to turn it down on my end. Nothing will change for you guys. That's clear. Bonk him. I'm really like, I don't know if I should be scared of him, but I don't feel scared of him really at all. Oh, if that hit. Oh, you coming over here? Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. Not really lucky. I mean, let's... Let's call it how it is. That was well played. Well played shell. A nicely timed stun. Generally good play. I should have probably picked up my alt here because the MP5 would be spectacular, but that's okay. I really want... Oh, ow. I really want this blue buff. That does good damage. I just don't... Like, if... If I had my alt, I could get it. That's a big misplay by me. My alt, by the way, just putting one point in it gives me 15 MP5. It's so big. Like, you should never skip your alt at level 5. As hell. I mean, I, as other characters, sure, whatever. Ouch. Ouch. I just tuned myself in case that hit. Because if that hit, it would have killed. Or like, if it hit and I didn't cleanse myself, obviously it would have killed. Um, He doesn't have a whole lot of mana, but he does have a whole lot of time to do that blue buff. Because I am far. So my hope is he's backing now. If he's backing, maybe I can get there. But I doubt it. Oh my god, I leveled to 6 and still didn't get my ult. That's so pathetically bad. Oh, damn. That was close, though. All right, now we grab the alt. Thank goodness for that. Grab these. Oh. I am maxing my one, but my three not clearing there was a little alarming. My three should still do, like, some chunky damage. It's all right. It's all right. <clears throat> Level four on the one now. Doing honestly way too much damage at this point. Full clearing the wave with one portion of it. Ow. Alright. 
Oh, thank goodness. Dude, I genuinely thought that he was going to be able to walk away from that. I really thought he was going to. And that would have twisted me. All right, I put another point in the alt, by the way, so I get some extra MP5. By the way, you do get a little bit of bonuses. Like, you get 16 magical and physical protection. At max rank, it's 25. And you get 70 dark power, which is really good, actually. Like, 70 dark power is nothing to scoff at. That is mine, by the way. Thank you so much. Wait, I fucked up. I, I pressed all my wrong... I pressed all my buttons in the incorrect order. That is tragic. That's actually tragic. Ow. Alright. Um, is your blue up? I would like it if your blue was up. You don't scare me. At least not yet you don't. Eventually you will. I don't have a whole lot of mana here, which is probably what he's banking on, to be honest. But he shouldn't, because I do have med. And med is OP. I oh, wow, that was close. Oh, wow, that was close too, man. Oh. Wow. That's crazy. Oh. No. How am I missing these, dude? Oh my god. This is I don't want to talk about it. This is horrible. I'm playing like I actually don't have fingers. Um, let's go do more. Do more will max out my MP5 to 100. I can't believe. I can't believe that entire series. Like, I should never, ever, 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 literally ever, die. Especially not like that. That is just terrible, man. Hmm. That pestilence is doing some work on me. Not enough, but some. Oh, wow. Yo, his one did 450 damage. It's kind of crazy, dude. that understandably of course but i'm never gonna kill him here he got that uh what is it called he got the pestilence so he's practically invincible right now Nice. Yeah, I really did not think I could kill him. I don't know why he just ran at me like that, dude. Honestly. I wasn't expecting my MP5, I guess. It is a little weird, because... You see hell that's out of mana, and you're like, okay, now is my time. And then she 
rolls off 45 different abilities at the same time and you just can't do anything about it. That is how fighting hell feels a lot of times. I'm just going to run all the way back because I feel like he's chasing me. Um, I do want Doom Orb, but honestly, a little bit of pen might be better in the form of Rod. Because, I don't know, that Pestilence is not sitting right with me. He's so tanky. So maybe we'll drop. So, okay. Let me let me put it this way, because I have my build in my head that I want, right? I want Chronos Pendant, Genji's, Rod of the Hootie. I want a Polly. And I want a Doom Orb. And I want a Meriden. And I want a Spear of the Magus. So one of the items I cannot get. I just don't have what it is like. I just don't have what I need to have in my build. Let you alt and pop over here. I slow you. I don't get stunned. I speed up and I keep up with you. Should be fine. Slow him down. Speed myself up. Perfect. Man, hell is so abusive. So abusive. Like, you can't peel me off of you. And when you try, I basically just speed up more. It's crazy. It's crazy to me that she has, um... Oh, actually, I probably should have got Sprint. So I could keep up with him. It's okay, though. I'm going Spear of the Magus now. I think, I think by the way, in my build, I'm going to get rid of the Staff of Mirrodin, which I don't like to do because I think it's extremely good. Oh, I fucked up that stun block. I got to keep my distance here for a second. All right, now you alt. I miss. Why? Why didn't he alt that? He had so many opportunities. Oh, you know what? He actually doesn't have any cooldown. Maybe he didn't have his alt up. By the way, your heal as hell now gives you attack speed, so it is worth it to pump that heal whenever you can, even if you're full health. Okay, I think he has... I'm pretty sure he has his... Um, <clears throat> what is it called? Hold on, sorry, I'm really focused right now. Because I would love to not be murdered. button perfect perfect that's what I'm talking about by the way with the the mana situation of hell she always has more than you think she has she almost has infinite almost the only issue with saying that she has infinite mana is that you have to use so many spells on held that even if you have like at the surface level infinite you still burn through that shit because you're just using like 80 mana 65 mana 85 80 mana 65 mana like back to back to back to back you know dark stance one three light stance one three dark stance one three over and over and over and over 
until eventually you're just done skis. You know what? I kind of I want to go divine here. I'm gonna give up Doom Orb as well, I think, and I'm gonna go Poly. My reasoning, it, well, it's very simple. It's he has life steal, and it's getting later in the game, so he's hitting harder. So that life steal systematically is doing slightly more damage over time. I'm getting kind of shit on right now. Um, that was not well played by me. Okay, I'll make it up. Right, there's the ult. I'm running away. Oh, good shell, man. Good shell. Wow. Wow, what a good shell from him. I'm not even mad. That was incredible. That was a very, very good shell. Wrong button. <clears throat> Dude, why are you building more anti-heal? Unless that's a winged blade. No, no, no. That's a toxic blade because it, the only thing that builds it from curse blade is toxic blade. There's no, there's literally no point. You have 95% anti-heal. There's no way you think that 5% more anti-heal is going to win you the game. There's just, there's simply no logical reasoning behind it. I got really good damage. Mm. Alright, I can do this a bit. Really, the only reason I'm allowed to do that is because I can just stay in my light stance be slightly tanky and like run around healing and I have both relics up the reason I stay in my light stance one because your passive here this bar if it's dark you do more damage if it's light you do more healing so I stay in light stance and then on top of that uh I can whenever I choose I, I see your pestilence icon dude I'm not a bozo hello yeah Perfect. Alright. Oh shit. Oh, well played. Well played. That alt, man. Um, so what I messed up there was I used my two a little too early. I could have, if I played it a little bit better. I could have, oh shit. He has a minion. I mean, he can't get Phoenix, right? I don't think. Okay. Well, that is tragic. So much. That's so tragic.
All right. This is gonna be rough. He might just backdoor me, to be honest. I think I have to play for the backdoor. I mean, there's no point in getting that because. Um. It's on cooldown, anyways. Shell has saved him so many times this game. So many times. good first game nice it's crazy because like i was handily winning that game the entire time and then i died once i mean technically i died twice but the first death didn't really matter i died once he took my tower and my phoenix and from that point forward i was playing defense it it, it really felt like i was on the back foot there for a second um that matchup is hard because Kronos is fast and has CC, so you have to really time your th your your cleanse, but that's okay. I'll see you guys in game two. That was a good first one. Yo, what's up, boys? Game number two here. I'm playing set today. Uh, I don't know why. I just kind of felt like it. I was playing against um one of my friends last night. We were just doing some duels for funsies. I ended up 1v3ing him and his friends. I won one of them, and I lost one of them. I'm a little embarrassed that I lost one, to be completely honest. I know you're like, you're embarrassed you lost a 1v3. Yeah, because, I mean, one of... My friend is GM, right? So he was he was gaming, but his two friends, they I don't even think they play ranked, and I still lost the 1v3. One GM versus two others that don't play ranked. It's not bad. Like, I understand it's okay to lose that, but, eh, you know, my ego. My ego took a hit when I held that L. And then I rematched them, and I won. Because <laughs> there was, I knew what I had to change in order to win, and I made the change. But regardless, I was playing him last night, and uh, he made uh, he made me remember all the good times on set I had. You know, you don't win these, my dude. You never win those, like ever. There is not a single universe in the multiverse where you win those. So yeah, that's why I decided to play set. I just had a renewed vigor for set that I needed to kick in. Now we're gaming. Um... 
I'm trying to think like what other god should I play today? Because in Tryhard Thursdays, you normally get like four to five games out depending on how long the games are. That first game actually took a long time. That it was pretty crazy. Tell me you don't hit five here. If you hit five, I die. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. If he hit five there, he ults me. I'm I'm deceased as hell. Jump it. Jump it. Ah. Uh. I mean... Oh, there's no way you're greeting this, right? There's no way you're greeting this. Oh, I do not do enough damage. Alright, well... Never mind, I guess. Don't ult me. Oh, shit. This is what I was worried about. Yeah. Damn it. That's exactly what I was worried about. I knew getting the XP camp was greedy, and I knew backing at the XP camp was even greedier. If I just took one step back before I started backing, I, I probably would have lived. Like, it wouldn't, it would not have changed the outcome of the game if I just took one step backwards. But greeting that back there might. Because I, I barely have a lead anymore. I did go Dominance instead of Transcendence. He's going Golden Blade by the looks of it. Which, you know... It's a good item, but on Fenrir? I don't understand. Your clear is really good on Fenrir anyways. You just auto me once and then group up the wave. Because once you... Excuse me. Once you um, do damage to an enemy player, all the minions aggro you. Why do you... Wait. He's maxing his three. That's really interesting, actually. You're backing, right? Um... Oh, the balls, the balls to not back when under pressure like that. All right. He has alt, by the way, this is a greedy red buff by me. It's not too greedy because I know that I can run away relatively easily, but still it's nice to point out when you know you're doing something a little bit greedy so that if, if things do hit the fan and I need to, uh, change my play style up a little bit i know that i've been greedy so far this game and it's panned out for me but if if it starts not panning out did i teleport i don't remember i guess i did it's panned out for everything other than the xp camp that is all right I'm assuming he got his red buff, and by red buff I mean blue buff, obviously, and... Yeah, he does. XP camps up? They are. Nice. I have to play near my tower line, because his alt hurts me. But what will really hurt me if is if he ults me under his tower. That's that's probably gonna kill me. I think he knows it because he's playing by his tower line. Nice. I don't know why he waited that long to ult me. I feel like if he just ulted immediately, at the very least, it would have eaten some of my ult. It's like my ult, it's really good for two things. It's really good to proc the healing, which also procs a little bit of damage, but the damage you can see, like it only did 256. It's not like it does that much damage. But the important thing is it uncaps my passive. 
That's what really is going to win me games. My ult. If you don't know what set passive is, by the way, it is... Uh, you can have a maximum of 10 stacks. And each stack gives you 2.5% attack speed. So, by n like normal standards, your passive gives you a maximum of 25% attack speed. But when you ult, it is completely uncapped. Which means... Every, time, every tick of damage you do, whether it be a tick of your three, a tick of your two, an auto attack, a one, a proc of your alt, no matter what kind of damage you do, it will gain a stack. And that stack will stack infinitely while you're alting. Meaning, the best part about set alt, in layman's terms, is he gets infinite attack speed. He just goes off, dude. And yes, his attack speed does cap at 2.5 like normal. In case you're wondering. You, you can't over cap attack speed with this passive. But the fact that his passive works like that means you never have to build attack speed and you can still play like you have max attack speed. Oh, don't haunt me in the Phoenix. I die if I do that. Thought he was going to jump the wall there for a second. His positioning made it seem like he was about to hop over that boy. <clears throat> um. Alright, let's just go. I will go that, and then I'll, I want to go serrated here. Oh, wow, I have enough. Holy shit. Wow, that's a crazy back, dude. Going from no cooldown to 25%... Or to 20% cooldown with 16% pen and all that extra power. Oh my god. What a massive back. Look at my damage now, man. Thought he would jump it. Damn it. Oh, he is alt. He is alt. He is alt. Be smart about this. I'm just kind of biding my time for Bull Demon to spawn. Once Bull Demon spawns and I get it, Phoenix should be no problem. So I don't really think he can contest me here. Hello? Um, yeah, I mean, he knows. I don't really need to care about him right now. I got Bull Demon, so if he wants to ignore me and clear wave, then it is on him. Look at my attack speed, dude. 2.5. It feels so good, man. Uh, his ult is down. He does have jump still, I think, but he never wins these fights. Ouch. Darn it. I feel like he stopped my 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 jack. He stopped my back just because. Just because. That's it. That's the whole thing. That's everything I was going to say. Just because. That's funny. Um, could get a little bit of boomerang going. But I don't know. I don't really care about that kind of stuff. I could go vital amplifier actually. Because my alt, my alt procs, they do heal. And I definitely proc three ticks of that really quick. 
case you're wondering how to proc set alt because i like i know set is very cryptic god to a lot of people it's it, his kit's not easy to wrap your head around a lot of people just think oh alt kill but that's not exactly true your alt doesn't do anything unless your three is up um so in order to proc your alt you need to get four ticks of your passive basically and that once you get four ticks of your passive or four damage sources that will proc um i mean i don't think you win these that will proc one tick of your passive so every four tick every four ticks of your passive will proc one tick of your alt is what i meant to say i'm sorry and then that one tick of your alt will heal you proc vital amplifier and snowball basically my issue is i don't have beads yet I'm gonna buy beads in his fountain when he ults me. Um. Yeah, I think he just loses the game now. Now that I have beads, I could have bought beads before when I backed, but I don't know. I just wasn't thinking. I I guess. I'm playing pretty poorly All right. but what I what I think I am doing well in this video specifically is explaining why I'm doing things and what I'm doing and especially the ins and outs of the gods that I'm playing it's important for people to know um I'm faster than him so I don't really need to do anything to catch up All right, GG. Actually, I don't know if I can kill Titan easily like this. The reason I turned that way when I used my three is because I don't—I didn't want to teleport because teleporting messes up your auto attack cycle. But like, if you're mid auto attack swing and you teleport, you have to charge up that half auto attack swing again before you hit. So by turning mid auto, I'm wasting no time activating my three. Basically, I—it's I, weird, but it. It saved me about half of a second to do that. Um, all right, GG. That was game number two. That was another fun one. And I will see you guys in game number three. What's up, boys? Game number three. <clears throat> Playing a little bit of Kali now. Just a little lower inspired. Watching my friend's stream. He was playing a little Kali. And I thought, you know what? That would be fun. That'd be fun. Let's see if you're I'm going to go time. crit Kali build though. Remember, the order will be I'm not a fan of the massive... Uh, what is it called? I'm not a fan of the massive... Auto attack build. Like the 2.5p speed, attack speed. 2.5 attack... What is What is going on right now? Not a fan of the 2.5 attack speed build because you need to stick to them really well with like Haste and Katana and Concise and Xe and all these other items just to have a chance to do something. And I feel like for the majority of playing duel, you don't ever really stick to someone. It's not really something that happens ever. Just doing some good damage. I don't want him to get blue buff is all. Literally, do not scare me. <clears throat> yeah, it clears me. So, I wait a little bit. Are you good? What was that? He has no potions. Oh, I'm dead archers here. Unlucky. 
This looks useful. That shell. I'll add it to my tool belt for later. That shell. I don't think he has enough HP to do anything, but. Um, it's not great. It's not that bad, but it's not great. I think being a little bit behind as Kali is kind of like. It's kind of just expected. Like you, you never load and load in as Kali, and you're like, yeah, today. I'm going to win the early game, <laughs> you know? It's all about the late game with her. Perfect. In case you're wondering why I ulted, I ulted strictly for the auto attack reset that you get for it. So uh, Kali has very specific auto attack resets. Her three is an auto attack reset. Her two is an auto attack reset and her alt is an auto attack reset. And when I say auto attack reset, I'm not talking about an auto cancel or an auto um, desync or anything like that. An auto cancel cancels your animation of your auto attack to immediately do another one. An auto attack reset cancels the animation of your auto attack to immediately do another one while also resetting your auto attack chain. And Kali's auto attack chain is 1.5.5. That's her progression. So you do 100% damage at your attack speed at 1.3 attack speed. And then you do half damage at 2.6 attack speed. In case anyone is wondering how an auto attack chain works, every character has a different one. Every character is unique. Hunters don't have auto attack chains because that would be broken. Um, except for Heimdall, which in fact is broken. So it makes sense. You're going to alt. I'm not going to care. You ult me. That's okay for me, actually. I don't mind this. Oh, I mind that. Ouch. Ah, oh, good healing, though. Good healing. Oh, man. Very close. For both of us. Um, but basically auto attack resetting is you're canceling your animation and your auto attack chain to do full damage multiple times rather than going 1.5.5 by fully utilizing Kali's auto attack resets you can go 1.1.1.1 four times and you get four full damage auto attacks off which is I don't I shouldn't have to tell you but obviously ideal So he's got the Bancroft build, which is good for me. It's good for me because it means he's utilizing this early pressure that he's getting as Poseidon with Bancrofts, and it's still not actually working out completely for him. So, um, the fact that he's only 100 gold ahead while utilizing Bancrofts means that, one, I've done something very well, and two, he has done something poorly. Sometimes it's a combination of both. Uh, but this game, I think he's just not utilized his early game. Because he killed me early. I mean, he had every opportunity to, to snowball. I was just able to get that second kill. He wants that red dangerously bad, I think. Or he doesn't. I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. Kind of a misplay by him. But he got, you know, he got the full breastplate. Understandable. You don't need to win every battle. I'm backing after this wave, so. I mean, I might feel like it. He's not really doing any damage to me, so I'm not really. I don't feel too inclined to need the back right now. Now all back, and I'll get Genji's. A little bit of cooldown. Okay, he paused. That's pretty cringe. 
Um, I'll get cooldown and the three second cooldown proc obviously is going to help me a bit. And I wish I could wait till level 12 to back so that I could get blink, but that's fine. I'll, I'll be okay here. And yeah, I'm only 70 gold down. I'm actually up in experience. Being 70 gold down and up in XP is completely fine. Uh, against somebody that has a better early game than you. Oh, I'm so tired. There hasn't been as many... Uh, there hasn't been many hype moments in this video, but I think it's a very, very instructional Try Hard Thursday, which you don't really get anymore, to be honest. I normally do like the hype plays... I like being instructional, to be honest. Looks I like think I it suits me as a player. Because I know a lot more than I say. And I was out to dinner with my wife and my friend last night. And um, they started talking about Smite. And the Shiv started talking about how... I know so much about the game that I never talk about because I mean, I never talk about it because it, to me, it's most of the time it's second nature, you know, but I talk about it when I'm coaching somebody, which by the way, I don't do anymore. I used to do years ago, but I stopped because too many people wanted coaching <laughs> and I, uh, I couldn't keep up with all the orders, you know, so. But regardless, it is nice to be able to talk about everything that I know every once in a while. It's going to be hard for me to kill him for a while, but that doesn't bother me. Uh, I also, I do want to try out something. Uh, it is a bug. But I don't know. I don't really want to do it in a video because if it works, then it's going to suck for the next month because high res will never fix it. So I don't know. I don't think I'll do it. My better judgment's kicking in here. I wanted to try it out just to see if it would work, but if I did it on video, everybody's game is going to be ruined. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure I can not get this red buff. I don't have a lot of damage right now. Yeah. That is some good damage, though. Yeah. He just plays so passive, dude. I don't know. Is so scared. Things are getting dicey. I do want Transcendence here. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Hydra's here. But I want Serrated more. Always strike first, they say. So I'm going to go Serrated. Uh, I want Blink too. Let me grab that. I'm going to go Serrated. And I, I want to go um, Hydra's. Probably Hydra's, Boomerang, Deathbringer maybe is the build. Or maybe I'll just go Hydra's, Deathbringer. And then... 
I don't know, some life steal or something on top. Honestly, a relic for a relic is good for me. A relic for a relic and an alt, I should say. Because he did alt. I wonder if he would ever let me take his blue buff. <laughs> I really want to. Grabbing my blue buff is huge. I don't know what this is. A cry for help, maybe. You are not faster than me. Well, with your two, I guess you are. The fast die young. Um, I mean, I don't know. The plays he's making, they look really erratic and really bad. And to be honest, they're not great. But like going for the tower instead of buffs makes sense in some scenario because I'm Kali. Like you're not going to beat me at level 20. And he knows it. Like he knows the longer this game goes the worst chance he has of winning. I'm sure he knows it. And because of that, he's trying really hard to stop me in my tracks, basically taking tower so that he can threaten bull demon so that he can threaten to win my Phoenix all within two minutes, you know? But uh, unfortunately for him, his build sucks. So... He's good at aiming those ones, though. Ow. Ah! I'm dead. Oh! My ult lived long enough. Let's go. Big ults. All right, tower down. Gonna just throw my two at this wave and then back. I don't want to be too greedy with it, but uh, Deathbringer. Always strike first. This will help with that. A thousand gold up. He's getting mid guardian. You're going gem of ISO and mid guard. It's not going to help you, man. It's not going to help you. You can try all you want to, like, peel me away. The only way he wins is by alting me while I alt, running away during my alt, and then killing me afterwards. But my alt is slow immune. So, I don't know, man. Actually, is my ult slow immune? I think it is. Yeah, immune to knock up slow effects and protected from root, but still vulnerable to stuns. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, so like Midgard and Gem of Iso and all these items to to appeal you are not going to keep you alive. What he should be building is a Staff of Mirrodin and a Rod of Tehuti rather than like defensive items. Gem of Iso is, I mean, it's a damage item, but like it's, you never buy Gem of Iso to be aggressive. It never feels that way. If you're buying Gem of Iso, it's so you don't get one hit by somebody that's W keying you. 
most of the time. At least that's how it feels when I buy it. Damn. I didn't get any crits. I was banking on getting one uh, one Hydra's crit there. 30% chance. Five auto attacks, no crits. That's unlucky. Oh. I messed my beads up. Oh, I wanted that. Um, I guess I go boomerang. Yeah, I mean, he's just kind of banking on me to suck, I think. That's what it feels like. It really feels like he's just banking on me to not know how to win. But I do know. Uh, how much is this? 600? Might as well. A little bit of anti-heal helps a little bit. Because he does have Bancrofts at the end of the day. Uh, these don't stack, by the way. <laughs> these, uh, they're the same slowing effect. This will proc and then this will proc, but if I'm hitting him and then this procs, it doesn't it doesn't stack. It will take Gem of Iso over Midgard and then go back to Midgard once Gem of Iso wears out. So not only is it a bad idea to stay alive, it's also just a bad idea in general to stack those two. Hello? Um, I don't know. Maybe I can do something. I don't have, like, blink or anything, so I feel like maybe I can't. Okay. That's fine. I just re-got the Phoenix, so dying for, uh... For Titan damage is fine. I think I go Demon Blade here for more pen. It will give me the 8% pen that I'm missing for my build. Because right now I'm at 24%. So I'm almost capped on pen. Actually, I guess my auto attacks are capped on pen. But my abilities aren't. Oh, well, whatever. We'll just go Demon Blade anyways. That should bring me to a 50% crit chance. Yeah. Alright. So now... I just basically wait 20 seconds and I just kill the Titan. I don't think he can stop me. If I have alt, I have blink, I have beads. I don't know what that play is. Genuinely no idea what that play is. I'm just going to blink past him and win now, I think. Or I'll wait. Hold on. And now I'll blink past him and win. That stun was a lot longer than I thought it should be. Didn't matter though. I had beads up. I just didn't think the stun would last that long. GG. Um, I think that's going to end it. Because I think we had a 25 minute first game. A 17 minute second game. And a, a nearly 20 minute third game. So... That should land me at about an hour. MMR capped, as always. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, guys. Peace.